Have you ever wondered what it's like to return to Earth after a long journey in space? Let's delve into the gravity of the situation quite literally. The moment an astronaut steps back on Earth, they're hit with a force that feels as though they've suddenly gained the weight of the world. Well, not the entire world, but certainly their own body weight which they've not felt for months, even years. Imagine this. You've been floating, weightless, zipping around our planet at incredible speeds. Now, you're back on solid ground and every step feels like you're trudging through thick mud. Your limbs feel heavy, your head feels like a bowling ball, and even the simplest tasks require monumental effort. It's not just a physical sensation, but a challenge that they must overcome. The sudden reintroduction to gravity is a bit like stepping off a fast-spinning merry-go-round, disoriented and off-balance. Imagine being stuck on a never-ending roller coaster ride. That's what gravity feels like to astronauts returning home. But the roller coaster ride doesn't end there, does it? Just as roller coasters have their dizzying lows and exhilarating highs, so too does the journey of space travel. When astronauts return to Earth, they're not just stepping back onto solid ground. They're stepping into a whirlwind of physical challenges that make even the simplest tasks suddenly seem as daunting as a moonwalk. You see, spending time in space is like pressing the pause button on your body's natural functions. And when that pause button is released, well, it's not exactly a smooth transition. Imagine waking up one day to find that you've lost about 1 to 2 percent of your bone mass for each month you were in space. That's the reality for many astronauts who experience significant bone loss, particularly in the weight-bearing bones of the hips and spine. And then, there's muscle atrophy. Without the constant resistance of gravity, muscles begin to waste away, especially those postural muscles that work to keep us upright on Earth. It's like your body saying, no gravity, no workout, fine, I'll just take a long, long nap. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. We've got some of the best minds on the planet working to help astronauts recover from these physical challenges. Medical interventions include dietary changes, physical therapy, and even medication to help rebuild bone and muscle mass. It's a bit like a supercharged version of the rehabilitation we might go through after a long illness or injury. And there's a silver lining to all of this. The research we're doing to help astronauts recover could also lead to breakthroughs in treating conditions like osteoporosis and muscle-wasting diseases here on Earth. So, in a way, every astronaut's journey is a small step for them, and a giant leap for medical science. So, yes, coming back to Earth after being in space isn't just about readjusting to gravity. It's about facing a whole new set of challenges that require strength, determination, and a whole lot of patience. It's like learning to walk all over again, a literal step back to move forward. While the body struggles, the mind wrestles with its own set of challenges. The psychological impact of returning to Earth after an extended mission in space is profound, and often overlooked in the shadow of the physical challenges. But the mind's journey is every bit as taxing and in some ways more complex. Imagine for a moment you've spent months in the isolation of space, your only companions, a handful of fellow astronauts and the endless expanse of the universe. Your daily routine is dictated by mission protocols and the harsh realities of life in zero gravity. Your world is a capsule, your horizon, a sea of stars. Then you return to Earth, a planet teeming with life, noise and a cacophony of social norms that seem almost alien after your time away. The transition can be jarring. From the solitude of space to the bustling, crowded reality of Earth, it's a shift that requires significant mental adjustment. Post-mission depression is common among astronauts. The thrill of space travel, the sense of purpose that comes with a mission, can leave a void upon return. The mundane realities of earthly life can seem dull in comparison to the exhilarating challenges of space. But fear not, our brave space explorers are not left to navigate this mental minefield alone. NASA and other space agencies have robust support systems in place. Psychologists, counselors and peer support groups are available to help astronauts process their experiences and readjust to life on Earth. There's also a growing emphasis on proactive mental health care. Astronauts undergo psychological training before their missions to prepare them for the isolation and stress of space travel. These measures are designed to equip them with the tools to cope with the emotional challenges they might face, both in space and upon their return. From the endless expanse of space to the confines of Earth, it's a mental marathon that takes resilience and fortitude. But as we continue to reach for the stars, we're learning more about how to support the intrepid minds that make these journeys possible. After all, space exploration is as much a mental endeavor as it is a physical one. And that, my friends, is the mind-bending reality of returning to Earth. 
And let's not forget the environmental factors that add another layer of complexity. Consider the everyday elements we take for granted. The whisper of a breeze against your cheek, the comforting warmth of the sun, the refreshing taste of a raindrop on your tongue. When astronauts return from space, these seemingly simple sensations can feel startlingly foreign. Picture this. You've been living in a climate-controlled world where the temperature is always just right, the air is always still and there's no such thing as weather. Suddenly you're back on Earth and you're thrust into the variegated maelstrom of Mother Nature. Scorching heat, icy chill, gusty winds, torrential rains, you name it. It's a sensory overload on a scale that's hard to fathom. Then, there's the air quality. Astronauts breathe a carefully monitored and filtered mix of gases in space. Returning to Earth means readjusting to our atmospheric cocktail, complete with all the dust, pollen, and pollution. For some, it can feel like a never-ending bout of allergies or a lingering cold. And it's not just about the big picture. It's also about the minutia. The feel of grass underfoot, the smell of a flower, the sound of leaves rustling in the wind. These are all environmental elements that astronauts have to reacquaint themselves with. Even the concept of day and night can be a challenge. In orbit, astronauts witness around 16 sunrises and sunsets every day. It's a perpetual twilight zone where the notion of a 24-hour day is thrown out the window. Back on Earth, they must recalibrate their internal clocks to align with our terrestrial day-night cycle. Each of these factors represents a hurdle that returning spacefarers must overcome. But, as with all challenges, they also offer opportunities for growth, for adaptation, and for a deeper appreciation of our home planet. It's like being a fish out of water only in reverse, a starfish back in the ocean. But amidst these challenges there's a glimmer of hope, the human factor. The human factor is that unique blend of resilience, adaptability, and sheer determination that sets us apart. It's the force that has propelled us from caves to skyscrapers, from horseback to rocket ships, and it's this same force that helps astronauts readapt to life on Earth after the surreal experience of space travel. The human body is a marvel of evolution, able to withstand and adapt to a wide range of environments, from the bone-crushing pressure of the deep sea to the thin, icy air of Everest Peak, humans have proven time and again that we can endure and thrive in the harshest of conditions. In the vast, weightless expanse of space the body undergoes significant changes, muscles weaken, bones lose density, and the heart reshapes. But upon return to Earth the body kicks into recovery mode, bones regain their strength, muscles rebuild, and the heart reverts to its earthly form, a testament to our inherent adaptability. But it's not just physical resilience that aids in the readaptation process. The human mind with its capacity for learning, problem solving and emotional resilience plays a crucial role too. Take for instance the stories of astronauts who've successfully readapted to life on Earth. Astronaut Scott Kelly who spent nearly a year in space had to relearn how to walk on Earth. But with time, patience and a lot of determination, he regained his balance and strength. Or consider Peggy Whitson, who after three long-duration missions to the International Space Station, returned to Earth with a renewed appreciation for the simple joys of life, a testament to her emotional resilience. These stories highlight the extraordinary capabilities of the human body and mind. They remind us that we are more than just creatures of Earth. We are explorers, pioneers, and survivors. We push boundaries, we adapt, and we overcome. Humans, it seems, are not just built for Earth but for the universe. So, what does it all boil down to? Well, it's a complex cocktail of physical, mental, environmental, and human challenges. The gravity of the situation is literal and figurative. Astronauts must grapple with a sudden weightiness upon their return, their bodies straining to readjust to Earth's pull. The mental adjustments are equally taxing. Imagine the mind-bending reality of having seen Earth from afar, a blue marble amidst the vast cosmic sea. How does one reconcile that perspective with everyday life? And then there's the environmental equation. Our space travelers must reacclimate to the sights, sounds and smells of Earth, which can be as disorienting as it is comforting. Lastly, the human factor. Reconnecting with loved ones, dealing with the fame, the isolation, and readjusting to a world that moved on while they were away. Space travel is not just about reaching new frontiers, but also about coming home and embracing our own world anew. We hope you enjoyed our journey through the challenges of space readaptation. If you found this video informative and intriguing, give it a thumbs up, it helps us a lot. Do you have any thoughts or questions about what we've discussed? Drop them in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you.
And if you're keen on more content about the vast and fascinating realm of space and its influence on us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Remember, every like, comment, and subscription helps us bring more space stories to you. Stay curious, space travelers!